While well, four-year-old James Dunkley died in December, it was a case that raised a lot of eyebrows when the man who was babysitting the boy said he accidentally fell on the child, kneeing him in the chest. And police reports in this case show so much of that story was just simply not adding up. Surrounded by security officers, Zarek Marquez appeared before a judge today, charged with killing a little boy. The arrest warrant shows Marcus was babysitting James Dunkley when the boy stopped breathing. 911 emergency. Have a good I, I did not want my son. He's one. He's not moving. According to the arrest warrant, James had more than a dozen bruises all over his body. He also had massive head and chest injuries. Investigators say Marcus told them last December he was babysitting James, that the child was sleeping on the floor. Marcus told police he tripped and fell into James, knee first. And those head injuries? Marcus said those happened when James got up to go to bed and fell against a wall. An investigator noticed Marcus had a swollen hand. He said that happened when he got into a fight at work. Work. Then Marcus changed his story, saying when he heard James had died, he punched a car. The complaint goes on to show text messages between Marcus and his girlfriend, who also lived at the apartment where the crime happened. That the month before James's death, the girlfriend sent a message saying, Babe, his leg looks so much worse. You made it worse than it was. Expletive. In the criminal complaint, there are multiple text messages between the two where she is talking about the child's injuries and the month before James died, especially injuries to his leg. One message says, OK, he just looks bad. I don't even want to take him to grandma's. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin. Difficult to hear. Well, we asked investigators if there could be more arrests in this case. They say they're not ruling that out. <laughs>